Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Nova. <laughs> Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity stuff. The LAPD uh, have been called to Drake's brand. I know when now. So Sorry, you just said the magic word, and you know, know what happens. I'm, I know. You know what happens. And you, you dancing to that song is one of my favourite moments of my whole life. Well, well, the LAPD have been called to Drake's brand new home. <laughs> He dropped $75 million on the estate. Can you imagine? It looks like a, a five-star hotel. Didn't he bite off Robbie Williams? He sure did, JB. Right. He sure did. But the LAPD have, called there, have been called there because there was an unknown man lurking near the pool house. He's... Uh, He's got onto the into the compound. He's 23 years old. When he uh, when the LAPD said, "What are you doing here?" He goes, "Oh, Drake's my dad." <laughs> <laughs> and Good I'm answer. Just, and I'm just waiting for him to come home, even though there's only 12 years between them. Great attempt. <laughs> Great attempt. What a good story. He might have been in Hinks's room when we were there, over there for the Super Bowl. He might have, yeah. Absolutely. That random that was in the room just eating, drinking all the minibar. No Absolutely. doubt about it. Drake wasn't at home during the incident. He's been spending time in Sweden where he apparently had his own run-in police. His team first denied the rumours about the alleged marijuana-related run-in, but he recently posted a doc on a document on his Instagram saying information for those suspected of a crime and subsequently detained. Yeah. So there's obviously some there truth in it. There you go. Google marijuana. What is it? That sounds interesting. Uh, yeah. I think, I believe it looks like a tomato plant. Oh, it's a plant. Yeah, yeah, it's a plant. Uh, yeah. Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity stuff. Great news for Bieber fans. Justin Bieber will resume his Justice World tour on July 31st after a diagnosis of Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Do you remember a little while ago he said that he had a, per- a facial paralysis? Mm. Do you guys remember that? Absolutely. Mm. Well, he's on um, the side of his face. Close yeah. His eye. Yeah. He's feeling better. Um, uh, and he did postpone the massive world tour, but it resumes uh, at Luca Festival, or is it Lucha? L U C C A Festival in Italy on July 31st. Who do you he's reckon? coming to Australia, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he'll be in Melbourne at Marvel on November 26th. Well, Great. There you go. Who do you reckon's tracking better at the moment career wise, Bieber or his former love, Selena Gomez? Good question, Sam. Great question. I'm going to go. Oh. Gomez is a st- breakout star of Only Murders in the Building. That's true. I'm still going to go Bieber. Oh. Also, November 26. Yeah, um, I was just going to say, Swanee, that's a clash there. Yeah. There is a clash between that and The Comedians, the second show. I believe has sold out already. Hold on, what, November 26 <laughs> and what? Bieber? Yeah, I yeah. can't go now. I'm going to Bieber. <laughs> I can't I mean, imagine I am, this. <laughs> I can't imagine there's uh, there's too much overlap in that Venn diagram of audiences. Can you? Where is for me? Yes, yeah, front row in the mosh exactly. pit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to you. Listen just to, to repeat. The, these are words you don't even know what you're talking about. Brownie, you don't even know what you mean. Brownie had Justin Bieber mosh, t- mosh pit yeah, tickets. Exactly. I uh, do. Wow. I do, not did. I do, because I'm still going to that. Mate, give, give those tickets, those things you gave me before. Give them to someone else. I can't. There's no more fierce mosh pit than the Justin P. <laughs> <laughs> Nova. Chrissy Swan, Sam Pang and Jonathan Brown. Chrissy's celebrity star. Does everybody in this studio love Miriam Margulies? Yes. John. Wow. Swan, Swanee, 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 I'm, I'm lost because I, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh. She is the most wonderful actor, but her life is really inspirational. I think she's going to be on our show soon. I think you know if you saw it. Yeah. It's one uh, of she played Professor Sprout oh, on yes. Harry Potter, yeah. and she's just fiercely authentic and honest. She's just living her best life personally. I draw a lot of inspiration from her. Uh, but she's come out on a, uh, a podcast to say that Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a good guy. Schwarzenegger didn't care for him. He was actually quite rude. He farted in my face. Now, I fart. Of course I do. But I don't fart in people's faces. 
He did it deliberately right in my face. Deliberately. Horse play it worse. Come on. Oh, no. That is the ultimate act. <laughs> I can't of... believe that, that old English rose coughed up the she farted as well, Swanee. Deliberately. Well, everybody farts. Of course I do. You know, he did, it wasn't in my face, but the first time I ever met Ian Moss from Cold Chisel, he just, he just dropped one. He did, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, loud? Was it loud? Yeah. No, but it was obvious enough for him to say, you know, when I said, oh, Ian, it's nice to meet you, remember? And he said, nice to meet you too, Sam. Just, by the way, I just farted. <laughs> Those his first words to me. Really it's fun. a great warning. It's a great warning. By and it way, shows that he's got a good head on his shoulders. Arnie, Arnie denies this. Not guilty. <laughs> So, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Hey, Elton. great news for Elton John fans. Elton is returning to Australia and New Zealand in January 2023 for five new encore shows. That's good. Huge. Put this in your diary if you're an Elton fan. And who isn't? January 13th, he'll be at Amy Park. Well, Chrissy, Sam and Brown, every show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brown, Unless it's a weekend. Now, the 100.